What's up, guys? Nice to see you again. I have no idea where I am. <laughs> Okay guys, scenario is like this. Shipwrecked, only thing that I have is something that I grabbed on the way to the sea from the ship. It's not deep in here though. And the sea is pretty clear right here. It's pretty crappy to film it while I'm trying to swim. I'm gonna show you how it looks. First things first, we have to get to the shore and then we have to warm up. Okay, I have a little bit of breeze here, which can be pretty bad, even though it's very warm to the night, it can get very cold, and if you're staying wet, that can lead you to hypothermia. We don't want that. Now I'm gonna show you what I have in this grab bag. I'm really gonna try to find a place to make shelter. So first thing first, on my waist I have this Becker BK-17, which is carbon steel, which is horror movie for him in this salty sea now I don't want to damage this bag too much because I pretty much need it later okay so I have a backpacking safe in this pocket we have nothing Or here, hell either. Hope it works. In here, I have this little trap. We're gonna set it so we'll see later on if it's possible to catch anything with it. In this main compartment, I have cups. And three bottles of water. Over here, I have a spare t-shirt. I don't have any food with me in that backpack, which means I have to gather around some seafood. And that is the advantage of the sea. You have pretty much all the food available and you don't have to spend too much calories to grab it. For example, sea urchins, we have fish and all kinds of snails around here, which I'm gonna show you later. Okay, let's get to that fire forest. Now it's a bit windy here, which is actually nice because it's pretty hot for this time of year. And I have to be extremely careful on these rocks since they're pretty razor sharp. Okay, this looks nice. I have this tree here so I can make some kind of a lean to maybe from this side. If I find some materials around here, let's walk around a bit. I have all of these sticks, maybe they could help. I have a lot of materials around here, but the shelter right now is not so necessary. It's very warm, so even through the night, I don't need fire. I just need cover in case of rain, then that won't help much. I'll have to scatter around to see if there may be some kind of a garbage so I can collect here to make some kind of a roof. But so far, 
my main concern is food and that's simply it also I have to be extremely careful about lighting your fire that's why I'm gonna light on the coast because I don't want to hear burn all the island off and to make huge forest fire we don't want that I need fire only to cook food if so Here in Croatia we have around 1.2 thousand islands just like this. And only around 50 are inhabited by First, people. we have to find some bait. I'm gonna use some snails around here. And we have a small pocket in here where we put bait. And then we're gonna submerge this in the sea. Best results you're gonna probably get through the night. Those will do the job. Now this sea is just beautifully clean. That's good. Okay, now here we're gonna put our bait. We have this line here which I'm gonna use to put some bait on a trap. Just like this. Before we do that, since we have a lot of sun, I'm gonna use that garbage bag to try to get some water. I'm gonna show you in a minute how to do it. So, we need this bag and a little stone. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna put the bag around here. And place this stone as a weight on a place when I want to collect the water. What I have to do now is just tie up Now this is the one way to get the water, by the condensation. We're gonna leave this right here and see what will happen. Right guys, time to put this trap into the water. Now, it might look funny, but I use my boots. And I always use shoes or something, some footwear like that, because sea urchin can give you pretty bad damage. Now let's get this thing into the water. Check this guy out. Now crabs are also very edible, except for this one, he's dead for a long time now. And thing that you eat are the claws and the legs. The rest of it you can use for the trap. If you don't want to eat this roar, just put it on a hot coals. Now I'm gonna try to find sea urchin to show you how to eat one. What I'm looking for here are the females. And the easiest way to spot them is that they have rocks on themselves. Just like this one, for example. There you go. Now, what we want to eat here is, of course, not these spikes. <laughs> Inside there, she probably has some eggs. They are delicacy in some countries, even in mine. Here, let's open it up to see what we have inside. Best way to do it, just use the rock that you find around. 
Whoa. See this orange stuff here? It's all eggs and it's all nicely edible. That's beautiful. So just that you know, only that part is edible. Everything else you can just throw away. I'm gonna take some more. Now this might look gross like this on a rock, but if I serve this on your plate and you tried it, you'd say it's gorgeous. Like this, it's all about the brain. Now I grew up on a coastline, so this is not something new for me. If you're new to this, to the sea, it might look gross to you. And for the first taste, you might say it's pretty bad. For me, it's very nice, I used it since I live all of my life with the sea, so this is not anything new for me. It's been around 15 minutes, you can see that it works. If you look to this side, you can see the drops. And luckily, it will all come to this rock here to make just a little bit of water. Now this here might look to you like a rock. This is actually a limp. Now basically the limp is sea snail and it's very edible and I used to eat them a lot as a kid. Now what you have to do here, you take them apart from the shell and you have to squeeze these guts. This is the bad thing. Wash it just a little bit and they're ready for digestion. In case you have some lemon or some salt, it's perfect but like this, not bad at all. Right. Let's see what else we can find from the food. Now when you get waves like this, that's a sign that there could be both somewhere that makes them, which can be a good sign. It's always good to have flare or signal fire ready for that kind of situation. In case you wondered how sea star looks like. Uh, come on, 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 come on. There we go. See, it's alive. Okay, let's put it back where it belongs. I don't want to eat that. I saw a lot of jellyfish around here, so always be aware of them. Here is something else you could eat. Now this is a sea cucumber. Now this is the only animal in the world that can regenerate itself 100%. Nowadays they're pretty expensive and I think you can eat only small amount of meat from them and everything else you can throw away. I'm not that hungry. Come on, boy, show yourself. Hello, fish. Now, some of you are probably wondering are there any sharks in here? We have one specific shark for this area and he's known to attack humans but they prefer the deeper waters sometimes the great white comes here following ships but all in all you don't have to afraid of sharks at all minor minor shark attacks in here in the last 50 years maybe just a few so you're pretty safe here to swim around wherever you want now the thing is, you can see the difference between Mediterranean and Tropic Island. On Tropic Island you have all of those nice coconuts. I wish I had them here. And over here you have rocks and you have pine and a lot of stone. And that's the main difference. Now let's see if we get any water from that condensation. We have something. You can see all of these drops. It 
it's all water. And down here, you have just a little bit. Not much, it's better than nothing. Every day, if you live for a few hours, you'll get a few ounces of water, which is very nice if you don't have any. Okay, guys, now this vid is just an idea what you're gonna get on my channel, especially for all of you who are following me, commenting all the time. This will be something especially for you because you gave me idea about the island and that's what we're gonna do. Now, I came over here just for reconnaissance because when I do something like this, I have to have special permits for this, light on a fire, everything. So I came here to do the recon of this location just when I ask for permit that I have exact location where I'm gonna be. Security and everything, it's all involved, so it's a pretty long process. But we'll get there very soon. I think I can hear my ride. Also, guys, go down in the comments, tell me what you think. All ideas, just write it down. Any questions, if you have any questions for today, what I did, just don't hesitate to ask. I'll answer it in the next 24 hours. Also, for all of you who are new, go with that watermark over there, subscribe. There'll be a lot more of this. And as always, I'll see you next time. Thanks again.